हेलो एवरीवन होप यू आर लर्डिंग वेल सो इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस दी थर्ड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट थ्री फोर टू इट्स अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम नेम इज स्लाइडिंग सब एरे ब्यूटी ओके सो गिवन एन एरे नम्स कंटेनिंग एन इंटीजर्स फाइंड द ब्यूटी ऑफ ईच सब एरे ऑफ साइज के ओके द ब्यूटी ऑफ अ सब एरे इज द एक्सेप्ट स्मॉलेस्ट इंटीजर इन दी सब एरे इफ इट इज नेगेटिव और जीरो इफ देर आर फ्यूअर देन एक्स नेगेटिव एलिमेंट्स ओके Return an integer array containing n minus k plus one integers, which denote the beauty of the subarray in order from the first index in the array. A subarray is a contiguous non-empty sequence of elements within the array. Okay, so that means so suppose this is your array. Okay, k equals to three. That means you have to find all the subarrays of length equal to three. Like right? these are the three subarrays. Okay, hence you are returning three elements. Now, what is the answer of each subarray? So, for example, one minus one and three is the first subarray. So you have to return the second x equals to two, right? So x is the smallest integer, right? X is the smallest integer. That means the second smallest integer in this case. If that is negative, okay, or zero if there are fewer than x negative elements, right? So just see here. If I if if you sort it just for simplicity, so minus one, one and three, right? So What is the second smallest element that you have here? Sorry, this is minus three. This is minus three, so it comes out to be minus three, minus one, and one. So, what is the second smallest element that you have here? It's minus one. Hence, minus one is your answer for the first subarray. Now, what is the second subarray? It is minus one, minus three, and minus two. Again, you have to find the second smallest element. So, if you sort it, you get minus three, minus two, minus one. So this is the second smallest element. Hence, for the second subarray, minus two is your answer. What about the third one? It's minus three, minus two, and three. What again? What is the excess smallest integer? That is minus two. So minus two is your answer. So minus one, minus two, minus two is your answer. Okay. Let's take one more example. So this is your array. You have to return answer for each subarray of size k. So this is the first subarray. Okay. This is the second subarray, the third subarray, this is the fourth subarray. Hence, you will return four elements. Okay, and you have to find the second smallest integer. Okay, so which is the second smallest integer in minus one and minus two? Okay, this is the smallest. This is the second smallest. Here minus one, minus two and minus three. Again, the second smallest is minus two. Then again, between these two, it's minus three and minus four. So this is what you have to return. So given an array, you have to find all the subarrays of size k and then return the xth smallest integer okay let's also take an example where we have to return zero okay so here k equals to 2 so these are the two elements these are the two elements these are the two elements and so on so if you talk about this you have to return the smallest one right so minus 3 and 1 the smallest one is minus 3 now what about the second subarray just second subarray it's 1 and 2 so i have to find the smallest element now just see all the elements are positive right So in this case, you will return zero because the problem says x is the smallest integer in the subarray if it is negative, or zero if there are fewer than x negative elements, right? So that's uh, all what you what you need to do, right? Now if you see the constraint, so the number of elements that you can have is ten raised to the power five, and obviously the size of the subarray can be less than or equal to k, oh, sorry n, and this is what you have to find. Uh, the x th element will lie between one to k, and just see this this is the trick to solve this problem right it says that the nums a particular value in an array can lie between minus 50 to plus 50 that means roughly how many values you can have you can have 50 minus 50 plus 1 that is 101 values how because how many elements are there in an interval of a to b it's b minus a plus 1 right so that is why you have 101 elements now this is the trick that you can use so If I talk about the intuition part, okay. If I talk about the intuition part, so if I have a data structure something like this, okay. So this is my array. This is my array, and suppose these are the elements, okay. This is the first subarray of size k. This is the first subarray. Now, if I find the answer for this, if I find the answer for this subarray, then to find the answer of the next next subarray, all I need to do, I need to consider these elements, right? These elements, hence. In short, I can say that I'm adding a new element and I'm removing this element, right? Sliding window, right? Add a new element and delete the this element. And again, to calculate the answer for the next subarray, you again do the same thing. You add it and then you remove it, right? So at every for every subarray, you are adding one element, the rightmost element, and removing the leftmost element. Now comes the question: 
वंस आई डू इट वंस आई कीप अ ट्रैक ऑफ दैट ओके इन द करेंट विंडो आई हैव दीज एलिमेंट्स हाउ डू आई फाइंड दी आंसर फॉर दैट ओके सो सम सम ऑफ यू कैन थिंक दैट प्रॉब्ली वॉट आई डू एवरी टाइम दिस इज दीज आर माई एलिमेंट्स सो आई एल कंस्ट्रक्ट एन एर आई एल सॉट इट एंड आई डू अ बंच ऑफ अदर स्टफ राइट बट दैट इज समथिंग दैट मे नॉट वर्क एंड इट ऑल्सो नॉट ऑफ द नॉट बेस्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन राइट सो बिकॉज अगेन यू एवरी टाइम सपोज यू कंस्ट्रक्ट एन एर ए राइट बिकॉज यू नीड टू कीप द एलिमेंट्स इन सॉर्टेड ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द एक्सेप्ट स्मॉलेस्ट एलिमेंट राइट सो हाउ डू यू कीप अ ट्रैक ऑफ दैट सो वन वे इज टू कंस्ट्रक्ट एन एर एंड सॉर्ट इट द सेकेंड वे इज uh if i talk about uh like if i talk about java so we have a tree map right we have a tree map now what the beauty of this tree map is so a map basically keeps key value pairs right key value pairs now the what tree map does is it keeps the keys in sorted order right so your keys are in sorted order okay so now what i can do if my keys are in sorted order then all i need to do is Suppose for the first sub array, the first sub array, I populate my map. Okay, I populate my map. Then I will write a function. What this function will do? It it will traverse the map. Okay. Now traversal of map will not take too much time because the keys will be distinct and in sorted order. And how many distinct keys you can have? Minus fifty to plus fifty, right? So roughly you will have one zero one keys or hundred keys, whatever you say. So you can have at most these many entries in your uh map right like for example how many times 50 has come suppose two times how many times 25 or 49 has come okay so these keys the number of entries in your map will be restricted to roughly 100 okay and how many sub arrays you can have you can have n minus k plus 1 sub arrays in this case right so this into even if you do 100 uh, that won't give you time limit right that 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 won't be an issue in this case right so that's why we'll be doing this okay um yeah so what i have done here i have taken a tree map this is the number of elements that i have this is the answer array okay and the number of sub arrays that i'll have is n minus k plus 1 okay now just see i am populating the map for the first sub array okay first sub array because from the next sub array what i'll do i'll just add one element and delete one element right so this is what i did map dot put for the current number if it is already present increment the frequency else return me zero and increment the frequency right so this is just a uh it's all about syntax right it can be vary for, from language to language but in short i'm populating the map and then i'm calling this utility function get min i'm passing the map and i'm passing x okay now let's see what it does it receives a tree map and the x at the smallest integer that you want to find okay okay this is the smallest variable that i have taken i'll tell you why now i am traversing the map okay if the if the current key is less than 0 I add smallest plus equals to map dot value. Okay, what is map dot get val? Map dot get val is telling me how many times the current value has come. Okay, the key value pair is like for example how many times twenty uh, three has come. So this is what I am doing. Okay, now since the keys are sorted, the smallest will be the smallest key will be the first value. Then I'll have the second smallest key. Then I have the third smallest key, and so on. Right, the keys will be sorted. So I need to find the xth smallest integer. What I am doing? i am checking how many integers have this particular value okay how many integers have this particular value then how many integers have this particular value so i have taken a variable and and i am keeping account that how many integers have i covered because i have to go to the xth smallest integer so that is why i have taken this variable so you add smallest plus equals to map dot get val okay and obviously if your value is positive you return zero now the trick here is if the smallest is greater than equal to x okay what does this mean this means that suppose you have to find the third smallest element okay you have to find the third smallest element and then uh, the first key whatever that was suppose all the keys are negative suppose it is minus 2 so it came for example one time then minus 1 it came one time and then suppose let's assume minus 3 also came one time so what i'll do i'll start from here the first element is minus 3 and how many times has it come one time so smallest will become one then i'll check this smallest will become two then i'll check this smallest will become three so now it has become three and that is what i wanted to find out right three so as suppose the frequency would have been two as well then smallest would have become four right one plus one plus two four so this means that as soon as your smallest become greater than or equal to x this is the value that you want to return hence you return the value else you return zero right so simple simple logical stuff nothing fancy here okay so now you do this and ultimately what have, what has happened now i i traverse all the sub arrays so int k i equals to k okay 
let me erase it for so that it becomes clear yeah i and t i equals to k i less than n i plus plus now i'm i'm fetching all the other sub arrays so what you do you add the kth element and you remove the i minus kth element right just see i'm decrementing the frequency and i'm adding the frequency okay and then if the frequency of a particular element becomes negative sorry it becomes zero you remove it from the map right simple you remove it from the map why to keep an entry uh, which which has a frequency zero right you do this and then you again call the function pass the map pass x and then put your answer right answer will be i minus k plus one for example i have calculated it for zero to calculate it for one what should i do so it will be i is e i minus k plus one i is k minus k plus one k k cancels out so that is why it will be i minus k plus one and this is your answer right finally you return your answer so this is how you do it uh, this data structure was helpful because i am keeping a track of what are the distinct values and the corresponding frequencies okay and obviously this will not time out right so yeah i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well also in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye